Let's make some new eyes for this model. We'll start by using the elliptical marquee tool to make a circular selection of one of the irises. And make a new layer from that. Let's move it out of the way. Now we'll use the pen tool to draw around the inside of the eye so that we can make the eyeball. You should only have to click in the corner of each eye to make the path that you need. Mastering the pen tool can be tricky, but it's really worth the effort. With the paths drawn for both eyes, hit Command or Control and Enter to turn that into a selection, and let's make a new layer. And we'll fill this with white and deselect. Now let's use the Burn tool to shade around the edge of each of these eyes. Let's go for a smaller brush now and put a little bit more shading where the eyeball rolls into the head. So far this looks very grey. Let's fix that with colour balance. We can add some red and some yellow and now our eyeballs look more convincing. Let's go back to our original iris layer and drag that into place. At the moment it's behind the eyeball, so let's move it up one layer, and now it's in front. We need to make a clipping mask of the eyeball with this layer by holding Option or Alt and clicking between the two layers in the palette. Now it only shows up where it overlaps the eyeball. Let's enlarge this very slightly to make it look better. Now we'll go to the Marquee tool again, make a selection around this and copy it into the other eye. It's important at this stage to make sure that both eyes are looking in the same direction. To make the shading that we put on the underlying layer show through, change the mode of this iris layer from normal to multiply. When we now switch to the move tool, we have two irises that we can move around and we can make them look in any direction we like. 